What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and on this week's edition of Raw the commentators announced something big is going to happen next week over Raw and Smackdown. It is the return finally of the King of the Ring tournament. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, it was an annual event between 1985 and 2002. After that it stopped, then we got 2006 one. After that, nothing till 2010, then after that, nothing till 2015, and now we're getting it again. So it's kind of like they're doing it every four or five years, uh, judging over the last, like, ten years or so. So, yeah, anyways, my query with this is I really don't like the fact how it was just announced on Raw. King of the Ring used to be its own pay-per-view back in the day before it was replaced by Bad Blood, but... Anyways, it's just an event that's going to happen on Raw and Smackdown now. They literally sprung it on us last minute, which I'm not a fan of. I would rather they told us, like, I don't know, on SummerSlam and then say the next pay-per-view is going to be, like, not even King of the Ring pay-per-view, just the next pay-per-view is going to, like, have the finals of the King of the Ring tournament and then we get, like, the qualifiers on Raw and Smackdown, like, over the next four weeks. By the looks of things, it's literally all happening next week which i'm not a fan of i wish they spread it out give us some more time you know what i mean um anyways king of the ring is one of them tournaments which is meant to boost you so look at guys the, the stone cold steve austin promo the austin 316 promo came from when austin won the king of the ring tournament other guys like kurt angle uh king booker booker t all these guys have won the king of the ring tournament Booker T, for example, and William Regal, it literally rejuvenated their careers. It's one of them things that can be absolutely great. However, the last two iterations of King of the Ring weren't great. King Sheamus, no one even remembers, and King Barrett, what happened there? So hopefully this time round they can do something better. This is my predictions for it. So the participants are as follows. If we have a look over at my screen, we can see that the Raw superstars are Baron Corbin, Elias... Cedric Alexander, Drew McIntyre, Ricochet, Sami Zayn, Samoa Joe, and The Miz. So seven superstars on Raw. Moving over to SmackDown, we have Ali, Andrade, Apollo Crews, Buddy Murphy, Chad Gable, Kevin Owens, Shelton Benjamin, and Cesaro. So that's all the participants, 14 in total, obviously. And right, so I'm going to be predicting, well, I'm, I'm going to say what I definitely think should happen. So put it this way. I think straight up, King Cesaro. Cesaro deserves something big. Now, a lot of guys are going to turn around and say people like Sami Zayn should win. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's a good point. But I personally believe it should be Cesaro. He's been there literally, I believe, hang on, who's there? Not including Drew McIntyre when he left, Cesaro's been there second longest. And the first longest is The Miz, and he's held, like, all the championships. Cesaro's the one there that deserves to win this tournament. Shoot him into the main event. King of swing, king of the ring. You know what I mean? It's one of them things. So, definitely King Cesaro in my book. However, I do believe the finalists should be Cesaro, Drew McIntyre, Sami Zayn, and Andrade. They're my final four. Uh, obviously, there's some big names in this tournament. Ricochet, Kevin Owens... The Miz, uh, but or even Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe would be a great King of the Ring, but at the same time, Cesaro has my pick. It has to be him, in my opinion. But definitely think that Cesaro should win. So who do you guys think is going to win the King of the Ring tournament? Tell me in the comments section down below. Do you think it should be a pay-per-view? Do you think that they should do it over like the course of four uh, Raws and Smackdown over four weeks and then have the climax at the pay-per-view? Let me know, because uh, at the moment it does look like it's going to be just finished on Raw and Smackdown. But fingers crossed they turn around and say, no, the finals of the tournament will be contested at Clash of Champions, which isn't very far away. But be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.